I'm on the Docklow stretch of the River Wye today at Rotherwus. Um, I'm not here for one or two fish, I'm hoping I can catch more So My line's going into the water down there, my feed is hitting the bottom out there somewhere, so it's a perfect bow in the line. Oh, that was a proper bite. Oh, that's how we like our drop back. I didn't expect that to work that well. <laughs> a five pounder. Beautiful.
Well, this has been absolutely incredible. Um, 10 barbel, three chub, and um, yeah, better than I could have ever hoped for, really. But um, a real sort of busy two or three hours, three hours, really, I've been fishing now, and um, just always in the game, you know. You always feel like your next bite's never far away. I've been changing hook lengths, you know, lengthening it, shortening it, different baits, bouncing the feeder, all those little tricks. and. To be honest, I feel like I could carry on getting bites all day, whether it be from barbel or chub, I feel like I could, you know, you could just keep working at it. And, you know, the fish are certainly engaged with it. But biggest fish I've had is probably about seven pound. And I've had a lot of them small ones and three, four, five pounders. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start introducing a few, I'm going to put some six mil pellets in um, with a catapult. While I'm still fishing this, well, I'm still fishing this maggot feeder. I'm just going to flick some on the same line, six mils, and just start introducing a bit of something, a bit of high protein. And then we'll have a switch to pellets and just see if it, I'll well, see if we get any bites on it first and see if there's any different in stamp and fish, whether it gets maybe some, a couple of those bigger fish, you know, which I'm sure are there. Um, see if we can maybe get them, get them on the case as well. But um, I can't complain with what I've caught, but I'm just really interested just to see if I, you know, certainly what, what reaction pellets will get and then um, if it changes the size of fish. Half a bag open here already somewhere. There we go. Weather's turning now. It's starting to get very miserable, which is forecast. Let's fish on. Another little beauty. And that's what I'm just interested to see if there's any any of the bigger fish knocking around. No offense, before that, the last couple of fish I'd had had been my biggest fish of the day, but still just intrigued to know if it's uh, if there's something that will just trigger those bigger fish to feed. Maggots crawling everywhere. Should have bought a bait brolly. Right, so what I'm going to do is just get some six mils, just half a dozen at a time, and start flicking them over on that same line. No problem, the wind's sort of coming off our back, so no problem getting them over. I could probably get four mils over there, to be honest, but let's just see. And you never know, it might, you know, while I'm still fishing maggot feeder, it might, you know, it might change the dynamics of that. I might suddenly start catching bigger fish on, on this, but I don't really expect that to happen. I don't know where Monty's hiding now, he's not going to be very happy with this. It was forecast though.
Let's see, I'll just keep dropping six pellets, half a dozen pellets in, and probably for the next half hour or so, really, and just let it let them get used to seeing them and finding them. And hopefully, when we go on it, we'll just change to a block end feeder with some four mils in and a say a bigger pellet on a band. Right, I've been, uh, been flicking pellets over there for about a good half an hour now. And uh, in all fairness, since I've been doing that, I haven't had a bite on the maggot feeder. So whether that's coincidence, whether it's whether it's put them off or whether it's switched them onto pellets, well, we're about to find out because I'm going to try a pellet now. So I'm going with a single 14 mil. I've got a bait band, size 14 hook there. I've just got same block end feeder. This the only thing is I've changed, put a heavier lead on, because um, I want to pin this down. I don't want to bounce this around. I just want to, you know, I've been firing a few six mils over there, a few four mils in the in the feeder. They'll wash out at various points, and I just really want to nail it. You know, it's a static bait. I want the fish to to find that hair rig pellet and nail it basically. And, if we get a bite, I don't think there'll be too much doubt in it. So, same line. Have to get used to checking that heavier lead, it's just a little bit more cumbersome. But that will, I'll still put a bow in the line because I still want to keep the, keep everything balanced and keep the, you know, everything looking the same. We'll still get, you know, if we get a bite on that with that amount of lead on there, we'll get a proper drop back. So this is quite bold, you know what I mean? This is going for it now. It's, uh, you know, with 11 barbel and uh, and three chub. So we've had bites, so the fish have definitely wanted to feed. And I say, if we'd have kept on maggot feeder with a bit of hemp, I think we'd have carried on getting an odd bite. But just wanted to see if we can be ultra positive and maybe snare a slightly bigger fish. I will keep pinging a few pellets over there now, but I don't, you know, really I want them to home in on my feeder, so it should be an odd one. I say, if we get a bite on this, it will be fairly, uh, there won't be any doubt in it. There's a bite. There you go, first cast. First cast on pellet. It's hard to tell if it's a bigger fish or not because I've got I've got a bit more lead on there, so it's obviously everything feels a bit heavier, but Decent fish. I don't think it's any bigger than our biggest today, but uh,
extra lead on and you get a proper proper drop back frightens the life out of you a straight rodder feels like a decent fish as well looks like we might save the best for last Lovely, 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 lovely. Well, it might be coincidence, it might be the time of day, but pellet certainly brought about the, uh, I'd say it's the biggest fish of the day, maybe on a par with one we had earlier, but uh, so it could just be time of day, but it's good to know that you could get bites on, you know, the fish are obviously in the mood today. We've caught on maggots, and we've caught on pellets. And I've not even opened a tin of meat, which is unheard of. And I'm sure we'd have caught some on that as well, but you can't do it all. And I reckon that is as good a way to end as any. The prime River Y barbel. How gorgeous is that? Big old dorsal fin. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you do want to come and fish this stretch, uh, Docklow Pools, go on their website, you can join as a member and you get to fish all the Docklow Pools facilities, you get all that malarkey and you get stretches of the River Y, the River Lug, the River Team. It's a really good value membership, I would urge anyone to have a serious think about it because you get brilliant fishing, 15 barbel in a day. You'd take that in high summer, let alone a stormy day in February. But uh, yeah, I've loved this today. This is this has been just what I love about feeder fishing. You know, just trying different things, especially with that maggot. You know, different hook lengths and bounce in the bait around and all that stuff. And it just goes to show they were in the mood today because they've been having pellets as well. And I'm not to say that they wouldn't have pellets in in harder conditions, but um, you know, basically, I think. I think if we'd have fished meat today we'd have caught on that as well so um just epic fishing i hope you've picked up a few tips um and like i say if the opportunity arises i mean tomorrow it's going to go cold this river will, will have a bit of water on by the weekend but um when the opportunity arises when you see those daytime temperatures and nighttime temperatures sort of getting higher it's, there's certainly fish to be caught out there so like i say hope you picked up some tips hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time